Hello, everyone. My name is Sonika. Welcome back to the channel. Are you preparing for a Power Pages interview? Or just curious to learn more about Microsoft Power Pages? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to cover the most important interview questions and expert level answers to help you stand out from the competition. But wait, there's more. Stick around till the end for pro tips and hidden tricks that can give you an edge in your interview. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive right in. Question one, what is Microsoft Power Pages? Answer. Microsoft Power Pages is a low-code platform designed for building, customizing, and managing secure external-facing websites. It is part of the Microsoft Power Platform and allows users to create data-driven web applications with minimal coding. Power Pages integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Dataverse, enabling efficient data management. It also supports Power Automate for process automation and Power Apps for extending functionality. The platform provides pre-built templates, responsive design, and security features to streamline website development. With its drag-and-drop design studio, users can create professional-grade sites without deep technical expertise. Question 2 What are the main parts and overall structure of a Power Pages website? Answer. A Power Pages website consists of several key components that structure its functionality. Pages serve as content areas with layouts and styling to present information. Templates provide pre-designed structures for quick deployment and customization. Dataverse acts as the backend database for managing and storing website data efficiently. Security and authentication control user access through roles, permissions, and identity providers. Admin and Design Studio offer tools for designing, managing, and customizing the website. These components work together to create a dynamic, secure, and data-driven web experience. Question 3. How do you set up user login and security in Power Pages? Answer user login and security in Power Pages are managed using authentication providers such as Azure AD, Microsoft accounts, and external identity providers like Google and Facebook. Role-based access control, RBAC, is implemented through Dataverse security roles, web roles, and permissions, ensuring that users can access only authorized content and actions. Web roles define what authenticated users can see and do on the site. Dataverse security roles manage data access at the database level. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, and conditional access policies can be applied for enhanced security. These measures help protect user data and website integrity. Question 4. How does Power Pages handle mobile devices and responsive design? Answer Power Pages ensures responsive design by automatically adjusting websites to different screen sizes, providing a seamless user experience across devices. It leverages modern web standards like Bootstrap and CSS media queries to make content, navigation, and layouts adaptable. This allows pages to scale and reorganize dynamically on mobile, tablet, and desktop screens. The platform includes mobile-friendly templates and customizable styling to enhance usability. Developers can further refine responsiveness using custom CSS and JavaScript. These features ensure accessibility and a consistent design across all devices. Question 5. What are some best practices for updating and managing content in Power Pages? Answer to efficiently manage content in Power Pages. Use Dataverse to store and organize data dynamically. Maintain a consistent structure for pages and templates to ensure easy updates. Leverage Power Automate to automate content updates and workflows. Use role-based permissions to control content editing access. Regularly review and optimize pages for performance and SEO. Implement version control to track changes and prevent errors. Ensure mobile responsiveness and accessibility for a seamless user experience. Question 6. How to use Liquid Templates to display dynamic content in Power Pages? Answer Liquid Templates in Power Pages allow for dynamic content rendering using placeholders and logic. You can use Liquid Syntax to fetch and display data from Dataverse dynamically. Common Liquid tags include for loops, if-else conditions, and filters to format content. Liquid Templates enable personalized user experiences by displaying data based on user roles. They help integrate custom styling and logic without modifying the backend code. These templates enhance flexibility and customization in web pages. 
Question 7. How to set up user roles and permissions in Power Pages? Answer user roles and permissions in Power Pages are managed through Dataverse security roles and web roles. Web roles control user access at the website level, defining which pages and actions users can access. Dataverse security roles manage access to data, ensuring users interact only with permitted records. Permissions such as read, write, create, and delete are assigned based on user needs. Authentication providers like Azure AD or external logins can further secure access. Properly configuring roles ensures data security and controlled user interactions. Question 8. How to add external users and connect other login providers? Answer external users can be added using Power Pages authentication settings to allow access through Azure AD B2C, Google, Facebook, or Microsoft accounts. You can configure login providers in Power Platform Admin Center by enabling external authentication methods. Web roles and Dataverse security roles control what external users can see and do. Invitation-based access can be used for specific users. Single sign-on SSO. Integration ensures a smooth login experience across different platforms. Proper security settings protect data while allowing seamless user access. Question 9. How can you add support for multiple languages on a Power Pages site? Answer Power Pages supports multiple languages by enabling portal language settings in the Power Platform Admin Center. You can add languages and manage translations using the portal multilingual feature. Content can be translated manually or through Microsoft Translator for automatic translations. Language-specific settings allow dynamic adjustments based on the user's preferences. Localized web pages and Dataverse records ensure a consistent experience. Navigation menus and forms adapt to the selected language, enhancing accessibility for global users. Question 10. What are web roles and table permissions, and why are they important? Answer web roles define user access to specific pages and functionalities within a Power Pages site, determining what actions users can perform. Table permissions manage user interactions with Dataverse tables, controlling access to read, write, create, and delete actions on data. Together, these components implement role-based access control, RBAC, ensuring users only access appropriate content and data. Web roles provide a way to tailor user experiences, while table permissions protect sensitive information. Proper configuration of both prevents unauthorized access and ensures data security, maintaining overall system integrity and compliance. Question 11. What methods do you use to protect sensitive data in Power Pages? Answer to protect sensitive data in Power Pages. Use Dataverse security roles and table permissions to restrict data access. Role-based access control, RBAC, ensures users only interact with authorized content. Data encryption secures information at rest and in transit. Implement multi-factor authentication, MFA and Azure AD integration for stronger user verification. Monitor audit logs and enable logging to track suspicious activities. Regular security assessments and updates help maintain data protection and compliance. Question 12. How do you add custom JavaScript and CSS to a Power Pages website? Answer custom JavaScript and CSS can be added to a Power Pages website through web templates, content snippets, or directly in the page editor. JavaScript enables interactivity by adding custom functions, while CSS is used to style and adjust the layout. You can include external scripts and style sheets using script and link tags within the page source. Liquid templates allow for dynamic content alongside custom JavaScript and CSS. Always ensure to test custom code for compatibility and performance across devices. Implement Content Security Policy (CSP) to protect against potential vulnerabilities. Question 13. What options do you have for running custom code in Power Pages? Answer in Power Pages. Custom code can be run using web templates to define reusable structures, content snippets for embedding dynamic code into pages, and JavaScript for client-side interactivity. You can also add custom CSS to style the pages. Liquid templates allow dynamic content rendering, incorporating data and logic within the HTML. For backend processing, you can use Power Automate or Azure Functions for server-side functionality. Ensure to follow best security practices like Content Security Policy, CSP. 
Question 14. How do you handle and process form submissions on a PowerPages site? Answer form submissions on a PowerPages site are typically processed by Power Automate workflows or custom JavaScript. You can use Dataverse to capture form data and store it in relevant tables. Upon submission, the data can trigger an automated workflow in Power Automate for further processing, example, sending emails, updating records. Form validation can be handled with JavaScript before data is submitted to ensure correct input. Custom business logic can also be implemented on the form using liquid templates for dynamic processing. Question 15, what steps do you take to find and fix issues in Power Pages? Answer to find and fix issues in Power Pages. Begin by reviewing error logs and audit logs to identify any unusual activity or errors. Use browser developer tools to debug JavaScript and inspect HTML slash CSS issues. Test the website across multiple browsers and devices for responsiveness and compatibility. Validate form submissions to ensure data is properly captured and processed. Implement error handling in workflows and scripts to catch and resolve unexpected issues. Regularly monitor performance metrics and optimize the site based on findings. And that's a wrap on today's Power Pages interview questions. I hope you found these insights helpful and that they give you the confidence to tackle your next interview with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on Power Pages, Microsoft Power Platform, and more. Got any questions or need clarification on any topic? Drop them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep exploring, keep learning, and you'll crush that interview. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.